in a children's park, a heavy rod is pivoted at the center and is made to rotate about the pivot so that the rod always remains horizontal. Two kids hold the rod near the ends and thus rotate with the rod. Let the mass of each kid is 15 kg. The distance between the points of the rod where the two kids hold it is 3 meter. And suppose that the rod rotates at the rate 20 revolutions per minute. Find the force of friction exerted by the rod on one of the kids. So here, total distance is 3 meters. So we can take this as 1.5 meter. This also as 1.5 meter. Now, force is equal to m r omega square. So mass of each kid is 15 kg and this radius is 1.5 meter into omega angular speed 2 pi into f number of revolutions per second so 20 by 60 this is 1 by 3 times or whole square so this will become 22.5 into this will become 4 pi square divided by 9. We can cut it. So 9, this is 25, 9, 225. So this will be 2.5. So this will be 10 pi square Newton. And that is our answer. Now let's go to next question. Next question says a hemi spherical ball of radius r is set rotating about its axis of symmetry in vertical. This is axis of symmetry and it is rotating like this. So a small block is kept in the ball at a position where the radius makes an angle theta. Small block is kept here. This is the radius which is making angle theta with the vertical. The block rotates with ball without slipping. If the friction coefficient is mu, then find the range of angular speed for which the block will not slip. So there are two situations. When angular speed is less, in that case, the block will slip downward. And if angular speed is more, in that case, the block will have tendency to move upward. So two situations we are going to discuss. So let's discuss the lower limit. Suppose angular frequency is omega 1 when the block has a tendency to move downward. In that case, normal will be in this direction and uh, this angle is theta, this angle will also be theta. So n cos theta will be in upward direction and weight mg will be in downward direction. Here, Friction will act in upward direction. So this is friction. So its component along this line means along vertical. If this angle is theta, this will be 90 minus theta. So this will be theta. So we can say friction sine theta. Component of friction sine theta will act along n cos theta and uh, f cos theta will act opposite to this line. Now, we can take into account all forces. So since there is no vertical motion, so we can say that N cos theta plus friction sine theta must be equal to mg. N is to be found, friction is mu N, so n cos theta plus mu n sin theta is equal to mg from where we can get n equal to mg divided by cos theta plus mu sin theta. Now, here in this direction, f cos theta is acting and in this direction, the component of n will be n sine theta. So 
net force inverse will be the difference of the two and that will, that will be the centripetal force. So we can say N sine theta minus friction cos theta must be equal to mr omega square here this line suppose this is this point is o this is m so om is capital r then m suppose this is p so mp which is small r will be r sine theta now here n sine theta minus f cos theta equal to mr omega square. So n sine theta minus f is mu n, mu n cos theta equal to mr omega square. We can take out n. So sine theta minus mu cos theta equal to mr omega square. Now n equal to, we have got here, mg upon cos theta plus mu sine theta. So we can put that value. So we will get mg upon cos theta plus mu sine theta times sine theta minus mu cos theta equal to m r omega square. So here m, m will cancel out and uh, r is r sine theta. So omega square will be equal to g times sine theta minus mu cos theta divided by capital R sine theta times cos theta plus mu sine theta or we can take a square root to get omega and let's give this omega name as omega 1. So omega 1 will be square root of g times sine theta minus mu cos theta divided by r sine theta times cos theta plus mu sine theta. So this is the case when the block has tendency to move downward. Now, suppose angular frequency is increased so that the block has tendency to move upward. In that case, friction will act in downward direction. So we can just change mu by minus mu to get second frequency. So omega 2 will be g sine theta plus mu cos theta divided by r sine theta times cos theta minus mu sine theta square root. And this is the upper limit. So we can say that omega 1 is less than or equal to Sorry, we can write omega 1 is less than or equal to omega is less than or equal to omega 2, where omega 1 and omega 2 we have evaluated. Thank you for watching.